I'm here at Long Island Doctor Who and I'm with Deborah Watling who played Victoria Waterfield on Doctor Who. And my first question is, what was it like joining Doctor Who? Um, you have to understand, Jeff, in those days it was a children's program mm -hmm. on five o'clock Saturdays. And I got the call and I said, yes, I'll do it. I thought, oh, good, it's me. I better watch this program. And so I did. I went, wow, I'm going to enjoy this. And I walked into the rehearsal room and there was Pat Troughton and Fraser and they gave me a wonderful welcome. And we became a family and I was in that family for a year. And I loved it. What was your, what was your fondest memory working with Patrick Troughton? My finest memory is the man I worked with. Mm -hmm. He was brilliant. He made all the guest artists who came into IE, the family, very comfortable. Pat had a great sense of humor and a big twinkle in his eye. And we became so, well, we were friends. Mm -hmm. He became like a second dad to me. And, well, I miss him to this day. Are you amazed at how well the recovered Enemy of the World and the Web of Fear did in DVD and iTunes sales and the renewed interest in your era with the newer fans? Yes, when I was told that they were my episodes that had been found, I didn't believe them at all. I said, no, this has been rumored for 20 years mm -hmm. and don't get my hopes up. Then somebody from the BBC came up to me at one convention and said, Miss Watling, I said yes. He said, um, "Have you heard?" And I said, "Heard what?" He said, "They are your episodes to be discovered." And I said, "You have to be joking. This has been rumored for years. I don't believe you." He said, "They are, but don't tell anyone." I went, "What? <laughs> don't tell anyone?" So about two hours afterwards, coming off another panel, another guy comes up to me and went, "Miss Watling." And I went, yes. He said, have you heard? And I thought, oh, no, not again. And he went, um, your episodes? And I said, really? <laughs> and he went, yes. But don't tell anyone. I thought, what am I going to do with this information? So I didn't tell anyone at all. And it came through to me, they were in the screening of a couple of episodes mm -hmm. out of each storyline. And I rang Fraser, because we're going to be in London at a cinema there in Soho. I said, Fraser, are you free next weekend? He said, why? I'm going on holiday. And I went, ah, oh, haven't you heard? He said, heard what? I said, it's our episodes have been discovered and they want a big launch in Soho or Seattle there. He said, no one's told me. And I went, no. No, they haven't, have they? And they said, how long have you known? I said, three months. Three months? And you told me. And I said, sorry. Uh, they told me not to tell anyone. And he went, I'm not just anyone, I'm Fraser Hines. <laughs> <laughs> so they told you. Got it. So they told you, but not him. No. And you actually got him for once. Yeah. Speaking of I got what, my own back. So, speaking of which, were you able to prank Fraser and Patrick Trotton during your time, or were they. No, I didn't quite manage it. No? I mean, they. Oh, they played pranks on me, this, that, and the other. No, one day. I promise you, I'll get a razor back. Okay. <laughs> Will you be back playing Victoria for uh, Big Finish, uh, the audio Doctor Who adventures? I've done a few. Um, I don't play Victoria, but I met today Jason, who runs it, I think. Um, maybe. You never know. Oh, I did one. Yes, I did. With Colin Baker, and I can't remember the name of it. Came, oh, came out a couple of years ago, right? It yeah. did, it did. Um, and I came back as Victoria, older of course, mm -hmm. and I saw this TARDIS. I went, what's that blue box doing in the middle of the field? And all of a sudden my mind clicked and went, hello, I think I remember something about this. And then I met Colin Baker, who said, I'm a doctor. And I said to him, you're not my doctor, you're not anything like him at all. No, so no, go away. And I remember, of course, regeneration, etc., etc. Right. So in the end, I went, okay, that's fine.
Is there a story of yours that you like to have found next? What the one the ones that are missing? Which one would you like them to find next? I would love my last episode, Fury from the Deep, which is absolutely brilliant. Because that monster was my favourite. You didn't see it for four episodes, but you knew it was coming at you. It was the seaweed monster going through the pipes, um, down the beach, etc., and a big platform out at sea. And but you knew when it was coming near you because there was a heartbeat. Ba-dum, ba-dum. As it got nearer and nearer, it got louder and louder. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. That was stunning, and I'm so proud because I killed it with my scream, and it retreated back into the water. That's why I was called Leather Lungs. Oh, and that was also the, your farewell episode too, right? Yes, it was. Well, thank you for taking the time to answer a few questions for me. My pleasure. Thank you. You're welcome.